Hey everyone, are you one of those agents that may be new or an existing agent pondering fees or no fees, no commission splits or commission splits, brick and mortar or virtual office? If you're wondering, I'm going to give you my two cents. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, this is William May with Century 21. Now, uh, I, I talk to different agents all the time, and a lot of people I talk to be like, hey, you know, I, I love the company I work with. They have zero base, you know, commission splits, and some, like, hey, I, I love my office. I, I love the company I'm with. I'm okay with the commission split the franchise fees it's all about what's best for you now me I work with Century 21 I don't have a problem with their commission split I don't have a problem with their franchise fees and I believe you get what you pay for and maybe I don't have the experience of being with a brokerage that doesn't offer you know any kind of you know, they give you 100% on all your transactions and they're not going to like take anything out of your commission check. But what are you getting for that? You know, and a lot of other agents say, well, I get a, you know, a virtual brokerage and when I need to have an office, I go to these different locations. You know, I, I get it. But a lot of agents also, too, I make the point, they do a lot of work from home, so they don't really need to come into an office. But what I see that is very important is when you have a brick-and-mortar office and you're able to go into that office and actually speak to other agents and broker brokers, you get more experience. And a lot of times they have training and you're never at a level where, hey, I'm too good for training. My father was 83 years old, and up until he passed away, he was like, I'm still learning. And that's what it is. You're still learning. Now, I could believe that you could be at a brokerage and you can outgrow that brokerage maybe because your production is exceeding everyone else. You need to go to a brokerage where you're not the top dog anymore and you're going to have to climb up that ladder. But if you're at a brokerage and you're not doing a lot of transactions and you think by switching from one brokerage that that you have a split with to a zero commission split is going to solve your problems and you're going to get more listings or take more uh, buyers uh, agent, you know, have more buyer deals, you're sadly mistaken. You know, you're going to have to learn that lesson on your own. But this is just my two cents. And I really believe if you working with a company, it could be Century 21, Keller Williams, a Boquit brokerage, and you have to pay a, a franchise fee or a commission fee or, or whatever, and they're giving you real knowledge and real um education and experience on doing different deals you're gonna need somebody to cry to when you you have your deal blowing up in front of you you're gonna need to talk to somebody that can help you save that deal you might not know everything and with a broker and a company that has proven transactions under their belt and they've seen a lot of deals and seen a lot of different situations, they can help you with their experience. I'm guessing with these outside brokerages with zero commission and virtual, you know, you're going to be calling people you ain't built a relationship with, don't know them from Adam and be like, hey, I, I need help with that. They don't have skin in the game, basically. And I don't know how that's going to work. It's like when we're prospecting for sell by owners 
and we want to help them get the most money for their home, but we're asking them to pay us what we're worth. And now you're going to a brokerage. You'd be like, hey, I want you to pay me what I'm worth, you know, but the brokerage doesn't get anything. They're going to have to cut their services, you know, and then, God forbid, if something happens, you get sued. How is that going to work out with you? Are you going to have somebody standing on their corner? So that's something you think about. Um, hey, it's your decision. I know a lot of people talk to me about that, and I'm just giving my two cents. All right, I hope this helps. Also, too, I just released my new book, New Agent Success Guide. It's an update from Holiday Prospecting for Dollars, but this one's like for year-round to help you. Even though it says New Agent Success Guides, it's for new and existing agents. So you can get this on Amazon. Just do a search, William J. May. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below and let everyone know I'm your Realtor Pro. All right, everyone. Take care.